Walk over here. <laughs> that was cute. Okay, cool. Okay, what are three words you would use to describe Bryce? Charming. I hear that a lot when people talk about him. He's fun and he's athletic. Likes sports a lot. He has a really good aim, um, throwing a ball. So he's just a little athlete in the family. You think that's something that Bryce will do later on in his life? Yeah, I hope he does. He definitely, you know, excels in that area. Yeah. What, what ball? That one? Whoa! Whoa, bro. He's just, um, I call him my sunshine, and he just is always very energetic and uh, fun. Hey, Bryce. Hey, Bryce, say hi to Cole. Hi, Cole. Hi, Bryce. And uh, what is something that Bryce likes doing with you? Um, Bryce loves coming in my room. <laughs> Wait, Bubba, Emil. and then rub your lips together. Emil. Look at his, look at his cheek. Look at his cheek. How <laughs> was? <laughs> what? Show him. Did Sissy give you a kiss? Ha, 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 me. Ha, it's okay. That's it. Hey, Bubba, kiss the mirror. <laughs> and he loves to play with my toys, especially my stuffed animals, because that's like the only toy I really have out. So he loves to play with that. Um, and he'll just be in here and he'll be like, sissy room. And it's just really sweet. Your lips? Look at it. Aw. I died. You want it off? Oh. Oh, it's not fully off. Should we? Go. Relax your lips. Bubba. <laughs> I think he's good. Mama, here, I have a little bit of makeup removing balm. Does that help? Thank you. It's better now? How about on your lips? Do you want it off on your lips? Thank you. Good. Thank you. Your lips are better? Do. Oh, good. Bryce hit all the early milestones for talking. You know, mama, dada. Da. Um, ball. He was saying those types of things by his first birthday and by the time he was three it was you know a lot more apparent that his expressive language was not really really there where it should be at three years old. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy has a funny toy there. Oh, wait are you gonna use it? Yeah okay. Daddy bow one two. Can you do it? So you go like this and then you go. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. <laughs> toot. Mama, mama. Like a toot? So Bryce has been diagnosed with childhood apraxia of speech, which is a neurological speech motor uh, disorder, both the production and his expressive language and then his kind of processing language and being able to put his sentences together um, that are difficult for him. And his words and phrases are hard to understand for other people that are his family members. You'll tell him to say a word, you know, a new word, and it, it'll come out multiple different ways when he's trying to repeat the sounds. Hi, Bryce. Peep poop. 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 Mommy. Pig. A tap. A tap. Pen. Yeah, pig pen. Bryce has to be taught, such as articulations, such as ways to move his mouth, um, uh, such as some things that don't sound the way he thinks they might sound.
at the time he was diagnosed, I'd been a nurse for 15 years, and I'd never really heard of this. Um, yeah. Let's do him one more time. You're doing great. Bryce, say me. Me. Hi. Hi. Toy. Hey. Day. Hey. Bryce, say day. Hey. Listen first, please. Say day. Hey. Okay, let's put Woody down, please. Say show. No. Show. No. Show. No. Show. No. Good job. Say pow. Hi. Say pow. Hi. Listen first, please. Say pow. Hi. Say pow. Hi. Say do. Do. Say go. Go. Say go. Go. Good job. Say bye. Bye. Good. Say it again. Say bye. Bye. Okay. And one more. Let's say. Let's put one down and say you. Say it one more time, please. You. Okay, shall we do them one more time? Say me. me. Hi. Hi. Toy. Hi. I say day. Hey. Say show. No. Say pow. <laughs> say pow. Bye. Can you please try that with me? Are you getting frustrated? It's okay, buddy. It's all right. Say pow. Good, Good try. Good. Say do. 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 Say go. go. Say bye. Bye. Say you. Whoa. You. Whoa. Okay. Good job, buddy. That's his speech, and that kind of carries over, I think, into other aspects of his of his life. Um, it's hard to advocate for yourself, to tell people how you're doing, and to tell your family if something's wrong. Did you put it? What happened? Tooth. Tooth? Okay. What happened to it? Airline. Did it fall out? <coughs> Does it hurt? Hurt. So what happened when you lost your tooth? Did you get money? Maybe. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Tooth better. Tooth better? Good. Oh, good. So that's another thing that we have to be aware of with Bryce is to make sure that um, we have somebody with him that um, is close to him that we trust at all times or one of us because we can't just take it for granted that he's going to be able to tell us if something is wrong. Sometimes it's hard for Bryce to know how to approach somebody socially, um, to be able to interact without those words that most of us take for granted and have. Um, if he does like somebody or know somebody, he'll just kind of say hi to that person over and over again, um, which I think shows that he wants to have a conversation and he wants to interact, but um, you know he doesn't have much more to say than that, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Something that you don't know by looking at Bryce, it's not obvious that there's something that he has trouble with until, you know, people or kids try to talk to him. Um, at, you know, if we're out in public and people don't know us, you know, and kids will try to engage with him and play with him if we're at the park or something and he's doesn't really know what to say or how to really integrate with kids very well that he doesn't know, you know, or if they overhear him trying to talk or something, then it's, oh, why does he talk like that? He sounds like a baby. Um, I want to get in. Get in? Clean the door. Oh. Come in. Want to come in? I want to get in. Want to get in? 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 Want
you to know that Bryce gets bullied for the condition. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I just think that, you know, a lot of times he doesn't want to go to school, and he has it pretty good here, but I don't know if, like, it's because he, he gets bullied at school, because he has been bullied, or if it's just because he doesn't want to go, and that makes me sad that it's just, like, there's nothing I can really do if something bad is going on at school, so. And that's, you know, doesn't, honestly, I'm not really surprised about it with kids, but the biggest surprise has come from some adults that have, you know, said things to us and certain family relationships have kind of fallen apart and, you know, due to some of this. So that's for me been the hardest part for everything. Um, but, you know, we're just do the normal stuff that I do with all my kids with Bryce. Fat, fat, Touch, set, and out, a, ten, red. So then you're you're optimistic that Bryce will Bryce will overcome this eventually. Mm -hmm. What he has, uh, praxia of speech, it's a childhood thing that kids outgrow. You know, he'll have to work on his speech for a long time. But um, he's used to that, and that's just part of something that's in the cards for Bryce. But absolutely, I would, um, I'm optimistic that he's going to uh, thrive someday. And it's been, you know, something very hard for him that he's had to deal with, and something that has been hard for our family too, um, and something that he's just been working on. He's gotten so much better at talking, so. It's been been part of the journey it's it's opened my eyes to things that I didn't know was there to begin with so sympathetic to other people. It's going to teach him how to work hard at stuff. It's going to teach him that not everything's easy. He's so much more than what he can express, you know, and he's a fun kid. He's happy. People kind of avoid us or whatever. Definitely had to learn how to how to deal with comments and people kind of avoid us or whatever thing that aren't able to accept Bryce for who he is. You know, that's that's them missing out on him, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. You gonna read it, Bryce? Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Says Mr. Horse. Again. Again, cry cat and dog and pig and duck. Mm -hmm. bed. Time for bed. Okay. And that baby bubble. Good night, Bryce. Love night, you. night, to a bird. Nine. Night. Good night. Night, baby bubble. Good night, Bryce. Love you. See you in the morning. I'll see you in the morning.